We're talking to prostitutes who are proud of what they do and don't think they're hurting anybody. But not everyone agrees. Meet Raynetta. She was a prostitute for seven years and is HIV positive. She says these prostitutes are fooling themselves if they think they can walk away from prostitution and not be damaged from it. And this is Jill Greenbaum. She is the executive director for the New Jersey Coalition Against Sexual Assault. She says prostitution is a form of sexual violence and is degrading to the individual and society. Thank you both for joining us. Renetta, I'm going to begin with you. Tell us your story. Um, first of all, to, and I see a lot of young women out here who might be single mothers trying to go to school, and I am angry at these three people that they would sit here and tell women who are struggling and who are trying to find some hope in a world that's real desperate Excuse that me. this is a, wait a minute, could you add your turn? <laughs> And I will exclude you because you only represent a small percentage of women who are prostitutes. Not all of them have the opportunity to work at the level that you're working at. That's because it's illegal. Okay. All right. Get, I don't care. Hold if it. If they legalized prostitution, Wait, there'd be uh, in-call, out-call prostitution can be very safe. And it doesn't have, it doesn't have to be about all it that. It does not matter whether you're making five or five hundred. Then why do you do are it? A I prostitute. agree with you. Then wait, wait a minute. Right wait a minute. Wait a minute. Listen. Just listen. You've had your say. I listened to what you said backstage. Now, please hear me out. Okay? Prostituting to offer oneself or another for sexual acts in return for pay. To devote oneself or one's talent to an unworthy cause. Now, if, and I will say this, and I'm not condemning you because I've been in that position, but you can't tell me that having the things done to you that you have to have done to you is all right. I, I am say, not no, I say what is done to, to me, okay? okay? I say what's that. done to me, okay? I want you to know that when you get ready to quit, you might be on welfare now, but I'm going to give you a... We're I'm not put, on welfare. We're going to roll the tape if you're making that kind of money. We're going to roll the tape. The abuse, the constant pounding of your body, not taking care of yourself, not eating right, the stress of this job, having some man's hand on the back of your head all night, you Never don't get happened. to call shots nowhere at Burger King. <laughs> to support yourself, your children, put yourself through school. I don't care if you're living in a penthouse on Fifth Avenue when you are there by yourself, you are with yourself, and you will remember. And don't tell me that this is a victimless crime. It is. It is. <laughs> the victim is your child, and whether you know it or not, you think right now, because you got a child and you're doing this, I don't know where it is, but, you know, two days ago, I got to see my children for the first time in four years. And I had to answer some real tough questions. And if you think that, you know, this is society, just, kind, fair, forgiving, I want to see you have to get out of this business or get hurt out there and have to go to somebody and ask for a job, you explain what you've been doing for the last five years. All right. And see if you get hired. Yeah, you are the exception. I know She, that. the I lady know on that. the end, is the exception. But Why? for the rest of us, because... Because most... Because most prostitutes do not reach that level where they can get that kind of money. They don't they realize don't. that it's available to them, though, and they don't realize because they get victimized. What kind of money That's are we talking pick. about? Wait a minute. But see, then, too, in the place where she's doing yeah, this, it's, it's, it's a pick-and-choose basis. It's almost like a cattle call for models. And if you don't have the look, the size, or whatever, you don't get that There's position. There's plenty of girls that do right. what I do that aren't very attractive, and they make just as much money as I in their Thanks. 40s or whatever. I can make $1,000 so in one night for one guy. Most people don't make that in a month. And you, you said that you yeah, didn't know the nice. difference. You didn't know the difference between sex and love, and I have to wonder. I and did. You, you didn't you, understand wait a minute. what I said. I didn't you know can the differentiate. Yeah. Excuse me. No, you you can said yourself that you've never been in love. I That's what I'm talking love, about. I know she was a... out in the streets at 14 as a prostitute. She never had any love in the first place. So I can forgive her for that. Yeah.